Justice reigns from above. Play nice, play fara. Hearken, you fool. In any other group for any other lord, this young man would have torn the other acolytes to shreds. What were you trying to prove? That you could outsmart me? That you knew better than me what kind of person I wanted for an apprentice? You fool! <laughs> There's your pet, Harkon. Clean this mess up. Apprentice, meet me in my chambers upstairs. Right now, we have a very special guest joining the show. She's the author of a new book called Connect the Dots, Conspiracies for Kids. Abigail Grayson is on the show. Abigail. Uh, thanks so much for having me. Why kids? Well, it, I have been researching for years, uh, uncovering some truths and lies perpetuated by the Illuminati, uh, the Skull and Bones people, and the Federal Reserve, and especially science. Uh, do you know that we can trace our DNA back to one couple? Uh, do you know what that means? I'm afraid not. Uh, that means I can't sleep with you. Oh. Uh, it would be like sleeping with my brother. Ah, ick, ick, we're, we're all related. We're all brothers and sisters and that is just sick. It's incestuous. It's dirty. It's fascinating. Sick. Fascinating. But but, but wh why is your recent book uh, targeted towards children? Well, uh, Connect the Dots, Conspiracies for Kids is an activity workbook and learning tool for young people to learn the truth about how to survive. Now, I targeted it toward kids because adults won't listen to me anymore. Uh, they have closed their minds to the truth that I speak. Oh, wait, oh, look, 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 I got an email alert from when people write about me on the internet. Oh, wait, this one calls me a psychotic bitch. <laughs> I know my message is getting across. Uh, for this book, I have done a lot of cable access shows. Yeah, big ones. It's catching on. Well, well, the chapter on World War II is fascinating. Ah, yes, it is. It is, isn't it? I know. And kids can color in swastikas while they learn about how Pearl Harbor was an inside job. Yeah, but what I'm really, really interested in is the secret society. Uh, did you know a secret society runs our government? It's true. It's true. It's in my book. I did the research. Lots of the people in the government even believe that a bearded being existing beyond time will send envoys and children to the earth in order to perform miracles and provide meaning and justify war. Uh, and children must be warned of this. I also teach kids about gold and why our paper money is a sham. Now, you should hoard gold in your teeth, rings, necklaces, ingots, John. I'm talking ingots. Think ingots. Gold is the future. Now, I sprinkle gold dust on my food so I even poop gold. Yes, yeah, so Then, when I'm kidnapped, I can poop, I can pick out the gold and bribe the guard and escape with my freedom. Now, look, I can show you right now. Uh, you want I, me to show you? I, I believe you. Uh, you're, you're very resourceful. Yes, you, I am. Your book talks a lot I about... Um, Urban escape and, and countermeasures. Yes, absolutely. I, our society is on the point of complete collapse. And children should know about this at all times. Uh, why are we teaching children how to write in cursive and learn mathematic tables? Uh, my book teaches kids what to do in case you're on the way to school and you get kidnapped. Uh, do you know how to escape from handcuffs, John? Do you? I do. I do. Things can go badly quickly. I mean, you figure out a safe word, but you never know with a guy you met on the internet. You got to get out of there fast. It, it, it says here you uh, recommend maintaining we weapons caches. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. I have weapons caches hidden throughout the city. Uh, if there's a terrorist attack, I need to be able to get a flamethrower quick. Uh, it's important all our children have this knowledge, too. After all, when the Russians invaded, who saved us, huh? Resourceful and good-looking school kids. That that's who. Yeah, life is like a movie. Don't be an extra. Uh, it's a great message. Let's Thank go to the you. phones now. Chester in Alderney, you're on. This bitch is crazy. I took her urban escape and evasion course so I can know how to get out of a hostage situation. I paid 600 bucks, too. You know what she told me to do to escape and bargain for my freedom? Find out who the ringleader is and perform oral sex on him. It worked for me in the Philippines. Now, look, John, I have traveled the world, except for Australia. That place is fucked. Uh, there are a lot of people that hate Americans uh, for no reason. When all we try to do is help them and bring them democracy and bean machine coffee shops for their main streets. You know, it is 
a very scary world we live in, and I, I want to make sure that kids understand the essentials of survival. You know, how to find water, how to pick locks, how to hack into a classmate's email account and look for blackmail material, how to control these urges you have in your body. Suppress them. Oh, wait, you know, the book, it also, it has songs that kids can sing. Like, it's easy to make a mercury switch, gonna blow up that stupid bitch. And then some other great kids songs where they sing about waterboarding your parents to find out if they're terrorists. Next caller, you're on the line with author Abigail Grayson. Speak up, please. Hello? Hey, Abigail, my kids love your book. I even caught one of them cleaning my gun. I've never seen it so clean. The puzzles are really interesting. And the songs? My kids sing that health song all the time. If your arm's pinned, saw it off, saw it off. And, and, and that other one, drinking pee-pee in the desert. Great songs. Fantastic stuff. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. As I teach people to think antisocially. You'll survive longer. Yeah, society is a lie. That's, that's just fantastic. It's thank exactly you. how any sensible person feels. Mm-hmm. You, either, you either know you're getting humped by the great steam train of consumer capitalism or... Yep. You're a fool lying to yourself. Uh, Let's take another call. Oh, my God. Am I on the air? Hi, John. Hi, Abigail. I I love the show. You know, Abigail, I tried to make my kid learn the truth about World War II and our government, working through your book chapter by chapter. We colored in swastikas. We visited prison of war camps. We talked about Stalingrad, Hiroshima, and and we had a great time. I, for one, loved every minute of it. Oh, great. I thought we were really bonding, as the book said we would, but then he turned on me. He called me a crank and a racist and a loser. I I seriously think my kid is a government agent paid for by liberals. I I think I'm going to have to drown him or something. I'm at my wit's end. Drown him. Drown him. If he floats, he's an agent. Uh, Isn't that witches? Same thing. Uh, The FIB was founded by witches. Uh, That is what my next book is about. Oh, the witches. Oh, the witches come into your room. Drown them. They spy for Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom speaks to Congress, and those assholes got us in this mess. All together now. Come on, John. Public education is socialism. Well, we're just about out of time. Will you be quiet, you harpy? This has been Conspire. Remember, forget everything you've ever learned. Start each day questioning everything. Your DNA is not your own, and keep your mouth shut. Goodbye. Wait, but wait uh, hold on. We got to talk more about my book. No, 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 no. Wait, no. you said that we're doing promos for my book here. I, I, we're out of time. I fought my way through the jungle to get here. We've all had days like that. Abby. This is no every no, day I, is no, like that, John. I, 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 we're not on the air John, anymore. You made me leave my house. You're wearing body armor. Come on, you got to get out. And we're off I the air. In this city. I'm so I. We got, uh, I'm sorry. Leaving the house I, without your body armor on, you got to be out of your mind. And who knows what kind of lunatics are running around in this studio? Someone. I'M VERY PREMENSTRUAL RIGHT NOW! Get that, will you? Of course, Gordon. Oh, Gordon, I'm so happy we moved from the swamps of Vice Beach to the desert paradise of Los Santos, where American ingenuity and just a little Canadian water has turned the harsh desert into a beautiful and very natural paradise of golf clubs, sprinkler systems, beautiful fruit farms, and hydroelectrical dams filled with happy families and all the glamour of Vinewood. Oh, this place really is paradise, Gordon. (laughs) Silly me. And don't forget, starter homes are very attractively priced here. And I enjoyed a very exciting two-hour traffic jam after doing calisthenics on the beach. Exercise can be very dangerous for a woman, Molly. If you lose an ounce of that cushion, men will never court you. A man wants a woman with some thickness to her so she won't die during childbirth. Oh, you're right again, Gordon. Oh, Gordon, this place is like a dream. What a shame. You always had such beautiful hair. What are you doing here? I didn't want to miss my own daughter's coronation. Don't pretend to act proud. I know what you really think of me. You think I'm a monster. I think you're confused. All your life you've used fear to control people. Like your friends May and Tai Lee. Well, what choice do I have? Trust is for fools. Fear is the only reliable way. Even you fear me. No. I love you, Azula. This is the character Sophie. She's uh, representing France. Uh, in the ice creams? I don't like it when he messes up my coiffure. Enjoy. Cream in the gas.
You ever see? You ever see soccer ball? Oh, <laughs> hey. Your friend disgusts me. No, it's not my friend. It's my partner. 